Hey everybody, greetings to everyone. Um, today, today was a magical day. Today was a releasal day for me, right in time for this portal. Today was a nice releasal day for me. Shout outs to my brother, Hameen. Um, beautiful yoga session, beautiful sweat lodge session. So I hope everybody else's day is good and you're feeling, um, you know, relaxed, relieved, rejuvenated, and just ready for um, whatever comes. So, um, sorry, <laughs> had something in my tooth. So um, today we're going to speak about a special portal coming up. Um, can everybody hear me? One second. Um, okay, so I hope everybody can hear me. Okay, so we're, we're going to speak about a special portal just coming in on September the 9th, 2016. Let's talk about the number nine. Some of us see the number nine. Some of us see the number nine, 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 eleven. A lot of us see the number nine. And so, as we know, number nine stands for compassion. It stands for unity, loyalty. It stands for knowing how to say no. When you see the number nine, you need to ask yourself, are you truly doing what you want to do? Are you truly, because sometimes we think, we, we're programmed to think it's selfish if we want to actually just relax and we don't want to do something. So we don't know how to say no because we're worried about what the other person's going to say. So if you're seeing number nine, you need to ask yourself, are you feeling that way? Are you like a yes, 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 yes person and you never, you know, you never do what you want to do? So that's what number nine signals as well. Um, number nine is also universal love. Universal love. Love for everybody. Unconditional love. Love with no judgment. Um, number nine is also a gateway number to the beginning of something or the end of something. So some of you guys, if you're seeing number nine, sit back in and examine your life. The numbers are things that you're manifesting. So let's just say you just got off a bad relationship. You just, um, you know, released meat out your, meat and dairy out your body. You cleaned your diet up. You released, you know, attachments. Whatever you release, that's why you're seeing the number nine. Now, on the flip side, if you got a new job, you're feeling good, you're eating right, you're, the number nine is popping up in your life because you're beginning something new. So number nine is like a little door to a new beginnings or endings, but endings are beginnings. So isn't it the same? So just really pay attention to that, um, especially due by August. August we release. August was the Lion's Gate portal, and we release, we cleanse, we Purify everything. Now this number nine is coming in. This is time for us to complete stuff. So number nine also deals with your soul purpose, your soul mission. Number nine is the cosmic consciousness of all. When you see number nine, for some of you, that's signifying that it's time time for you to get in the divine alignment with your soul purpose. Don't run away from it. You know, like, be right there with your soul purpose. Now, some of you guys might not know what your soul purpose is. Don't beat yourself up about it. It will flow in, and it will come. You just have to be aware in hindsight of everything in your life, how you're feeling. Examine every crook and cranny of your mind. So, number nine signifies, you know, getting in alignment with your soul purpose. 
um, reaching out, balance, connecting with nature is very, very important. So, since September the 9, 9, 9, the 9 is amplified. So, all that I basically said is amplified. So, that means on that day, September the 9th, 2016, what you want to release, you should go ahead and have already been leaked so you can walk through the other side of the door because when you walk through the other side of the door some of us are going to know your purpose all of us is going to transform we might not see it but all of us is going to transform in our own type of way so just know that when september the 9th come 2016 the 999 portal it's a vibration Numbers are vibration. You have to you have to remember that numbers are energy. It's frequency with the sound, which is light. It's all the same, and it's the same as us. So when certain numbers on a calendar are locked on certain days, those are gateways. Those are portals. And since nine has that significance as it does, it's time to cross over. Now also would be a good time to get you a pen and a paper, a vision board, and really. Put in effect what you want. It's really time to really cleanse yourself from September the 1st to the 9th. So when the 9th comes, you will already release all that you need to release. And let's just say you didn't even have to release anything, but you were coming upon a new job or, you know, a new area that you were living in. Embrace it. Embrace it. Know it. Know. Know that you're being guided. So me personally... I'm going to be off Facebook, so you guys are not going to be able to reach me about the 1st to the 9th. Now, I might have some YouTube videos, but I need a whole release. So I would also suggest, and this is just you, you can modify it your way. Some people can't always eat the same like other people. Some people try to be fruititarians and raw and get straight off meat, and you can't do it like that. It's like weaning a crackhead off crack. You know, you just can't jump into it. And I think some of us are just pressuring ourselves because we listen to other people and other people say, you need to eat this, you need to eat that. Yes, this is true. But you have to work your way to that. I worked my way to where I'm at right now. I didn't just go from meat to eating raw. You know, it's all a process. So do what I'm about to tell you. Do what works for you. I'm just giving you a guideline. So me personally, um, one of my sisters, they pose a... Um, a special uh detox um and so it's like you know you can do three days you can do three days raw you can do three days just fruit um you can do it however you want to do it then the other three days will be just water then the next three days will be back to fruit or back to raw so you can modify that the way you want to modify it but just know it i will take heed to just really cleansing your body if you have to take a facebook break Take every, get everybody's stuff, like, you know, break. Get to yourself as much as you can. I know some of you guys got kids, you got to work. I know some of you sisters and brothers, you go outside doing your lunch break. Continue to do that. Continue to be um, grounded and balanced. Because when this 999 portal opens up, the energy is going to be so high that day. That's the day to be vibrating high. So you can make sure that you get all the essence and you can just feel all that energy. You want to feel and embrace that change, that newness, that completeness, that higher conscious. You want to feel that higher, you want to just feel that one. So, um, that's some things you can do. I say make six rules, create your, de your own deities, or use the deities that you use. Vision boards, going outside. And let me tell you, y'all, y'all may think some of y'all, not everybody, but I just got to be real. Some of y'all think just because I got crystals, I put essential oils on. Like, spirituality is not like a trend these days. I mean, I, I like fake it until you make it because eventually the subconscious mind is going to program and they're going to be what we would, I guess, call halfway awakened. But the most important thing is to really just know how to mind work. Examine everything that comes out your mouth, conversations with people, how you feel. You got to really be the scientist 
of your human experience. Have your human experience who you are here to have a human experience. But I can't just can't um stress it enough. Don't let the emotions run out, you know, run over you and get so locked in to all of the illusions. Okay? So we just need to, it's also about universal love. We just need to come together. We need to come together. We have, but in order for us to really come together, we have to drop this judging. That's what's holding us back. So many of y'all preach love and all this. Be like, I love all y'all. But I don't like Christian people. I don't like white people. I don't like gays. I don't like short people. But you preach love, but you, you don't like all that kind of stuff. Judgmental. When you love, you love. Why would you judge somebody else for what they like to do? That's they life. That's not affecting you. Let them do what they want to do. Don't judge them. And the moment when you stop judging is the moment you can start loving. And if you're judging people, then you must be judging stuff, self, self, and stuff in yourself. So really analyze that. We have to be able to just be childlike and innocent. Like, I don't think you guys understand me when I say be childlike. When I say be childlike, children are innocent. They don't know what this quote-unquote right from wrong is. They don't know what's boy and girl. You know, they're just innocent. They'll have a little argument. One of their friends will turn right back around and be friends again. When we start breaking those barriers of programming, when we start breaking those barriers, we can come together and we can really experience love. You really have to take out the hate and the envy and the jealous. Why are you jealous? That person that you jealous said is you. It's a part of you that you should strive to be. Why be jealous of that person? That person is you. I am you. You are me. Don't be jealous of it. If that's something that you admire, the beauty, the elegance, the strength, don't be jealous of that person. Get like that. If that's where you want to be, do it. It's no sense to be jealous. It's your life. So, number nine, y'all. I would also add to that, get some love in on that day. When the 999 come, really be in your heart center. Release any grudges you got. Okay, just for example, somebody, some man, some, some, some girl took your man in high school and you still upset. 20 years from now, you still upset. 10 years from now, a year from now, you still upset. Let it go. You being upset because of some girl who cheated, your man cheated on with her, who cares? You have to release these grudges. Who cares? It happened. Learn from it. Grow from it. Get into your heart center. Okay? So on September 9th, 2016, just be in your heart center. Go up and hug somebody. Get somebody a crystal. Bless somebody when you walk by. Just really be in your heart center and, and just receive this energy that's about to come in. Be light, be clear, and just be focused, you guys. Stuff is, 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 is changing every day, all day, and it's time for us to get ready for this new era that's about to come. Some of you guys not going to resonate with it, and it's okay. Because we all create our own reality. We don't have to believe in the same thing, but we have to be one of four. So just get ready for the new era. Things are going to change. Labels are going to be broke. We don't need labels anymore. You shouldn't let a label define you when you're all. Not even the word God can describe you. It can't describe you. Not even the word God. We can't just have one label. So let's break up out these labels and these social standards and social social society views on stuff. You know, just 
views on certain things. Like, you know, so just release all of this stuff on September the 9th, 2016. Wow. It's a new wave of energy coming in. It's a completion of a cycle into a new cycle. So let's release these labels. And while we're here, I'm not even going to make it another video for this. If y'all can stay longer for this next topic, stay longer. If not, watch your labels. I can't stress enough, guys. We need to be intimate with each other. Non-sexual. Non-sexually intimate with each other. Not sexually intimate with each other. We should be able to bond and caress and hold each other non-sexually. That's how you get in the heart center. That's true intimacy right there. We only know intimacy from sex. That's all we know. It's something sexual. Everything is intimate. Food is intimate. Us talking is intimate. We have to get back like that. And I have to call this brother out. I ain't going to say his name, but I have to call this brother out. I'm going to do, do yoga. And he was straight up with me. I respect him being straight up. You know, he was like, I don't think I can go because you're exactly my type. And, you know, I wouldn't going to be there staring at you all naked when we're supposed to do yoga. So I understood that. And I understood it. And I understand the program. But what we have to understand is we have to get out of that. We have to get out of our, our human-like self when we see the body. We're two in our lower chakra. Admire body. Look at them. There's nothing wrong with looking at the human body. The human avatar is beautiful. The geometry in it is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with looking at each other. But don't sexually fantasize about it. Now, if you and that person got something going on and that's what you want to do, do it. But we need to start getting innocent and not judging somebody sexually like that. We should be intimate. Now, I'm about to throw a spinner on y'all. And this one's going to be hard for some of you dudes. Some of you dudes going to enter and overstand understand it. And some of you, some of your egos is going to step in. Even some of the ladies. Just peep this out. As kids, little boys and little girls, they all slept with each other in the same bed. They took baths with each other. They held each other when somebody was sad. When they first were sad, we held our friends. We held their hands. We washed their tears. So now all of a sudden, there's a magical number that happens. And this magical number, when you become a man or a woman, 17 or 18 or even earlier than that, now the same thing that you did innocently, innocently and the same thing you did out of your heart, all of a sudden becomes gay. All of a sudden becomes lesbian. How did it switch like that? How did it switch like that? How, what, who, what dictates that? What magical number that somebody else made up and that somebody else put a label on dictates that that's gay? Just because you become a certain age, you can't look out for your brother or your sister no more? That's gay to show love? Most dudes, because it's easier for women to compliment women, most dudes so scared that they're going to be labeled homosexual or weak, they can't even compliment another brother. They might see their brother going through stress and weary. They can't even hug their brother and say it's going to be okay. They can't even comfort them because they so uptight and so, oh, that's gay. I, I, I can't touch him. I can't hold him. Get out of them labels. That's an old paradigm. Break up that old thinking. You have to really ask yourself, you did it as a child innocently. You didn't see anything behind it. You did it out of your heart. Women and men. I just feel like it's, hard, it's harder for men because it, you put so much on it. What is wrong with comforting each other? Why did we let it get so sexual? Why now is it sexual? What changed? Just because your avatar grew a little older, things got to change? Because somebody said at this age you're a man, things got to change? I mean, just really, really think about that for a little bit. Really think about that. Some men, some even women, don't even want to be naked with the same sex. I 
ain't about to be in a whole a room with a whole bunch of dudes, all them dicks. Why? If you don't like me, what you got to worry about? And it's it's a penis just like your penis. Bigger, smaller, whatever, different shapes, sizes, colors, it doesn't matter. It's what is the problem? Why are you in your 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 human emotions and you're just your human self? You are all rises above the physical body. Come together. We have to get intimate so we can get close. There's a lot of cultures that are intimate and they are together. The Asians, the Italians, some of the Europeans, they don't shun nakedness how we shun nakedness. No, 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 that's my man. That's my woman. Ain't nobody about to see them naked. What? What? That's not your property. It's a naked body. Get off the physical. Get off the jealousy. Get off the controllingness and the possessiveness and rise above. We have to come together. We have to get back in our natural suit. We should be able to connect all together, men and women, and be naked. And it should be as it should. Men should be able to be naked with each other. Women should be able to be naked with each other. We ain't doing nothing. We being in our natural state and we are connecting. Even animals come together and they bond. They eat each other's head. They may bite each other's fleas. They may lay on each other. Men and men and women and women and vice versa, non-sexually. We the only ones tied up in these labels and everything like that. We not even open up in our heart. When you drop these labels and love without gender and be androneous and don't generalize yourself and just love, you go, that's that's going to be that peace. That's going to be that serenity. That's God. That's what it is. Releasing the programs. You can't be conscious and judging homosexuals wrong, this and this wrong, and all that. This, this, that, that. Have your faith. You don't have to agree with what I say. But I'm just saying, look at it in a different light. You're preaching hate about it, so you're sh you're you're beating. You're preaching hate. You're beating. So are you really operating in your heart center? You're not operating your heart center. That's how you can see some evil. So just make sure y'all have all of this released on September the 9th, two thousand. Nine, nine, nine. It's time to let go. Go through that gateway and manifest what you want. It's time for you to manifest what you want. It is your reality. Five. It is your the subconscious mind. So, I didn't went in. I didn't did two shows on one. I really want you guys to really think about this intimacy thing. Because I know there's a lot of ladies and a lot of guys that can't be friends. I'm saying everybody. So, I know some of y'all might be like, well, I got friends that we can find. Not everybody. But majority of the percentile hard without men and women to be friends without any we need to get out of that we should have homeboys and homegirls that when we feel in love for you we just want to cuddle up and watch a movie we should be able to cuddle up and watch a movie non-sexually why not why not why not be able to hold that woman or hold that man without getting hard on just embracing the energy in the body. Why can't the men, why can't two sisters do it? Why can't two girls do it? If you know you're not that way, and you know you don't like to engage in men, and you're confident with your what we call sexuality, then what is wrong with you? If you're not coming sexual, he's not coming sexual, and he just needs somebody to comfort him at a time. 
He just lost, lost his family. He feeling alone. And you're not going to comfort him, but that's your brother because he's just gay. All right, yeah. That's about it. I, yes, I love y'all. Well, I am um, to family on this. You can reach me on Facebook and MySpace. You can reach me on Instagram. I see for love by the love. I love you guys. Hers, Quinn, Denise. Get ready to manage my man, um, manifest. Like I said, if you need to take a purgatory, I would suggest it. They just told me to tell you again. Take a Facebook break. Take a Facebook break. Taking a Facebook break. I'm not going to be available September 1st. I'll be available September 10th. Okay? I'll be taking some emails. I mean, emails and stuff, but if you need anything, reach me now. Love and light to you all. Wish you a magical day. May it be filled with fairies and dragonflies and grasshoppers, rainbows and sun, abundance, love, and prosperity. Love you all.